Next, Sashko Stabilo is going to be giving us a talk. Great. Um, so my talk is about something you guys are probably pretty familiar with, which is a thing called Tracker. Uh, Tracker is Meteor's library that we use under the hood to help you do things like um, you know, rerun your helpers for Blaze whenever your data changes, um, you know, let you call functions, and then have them be always up to date. So uh, the best part about Tracker is it's so simple to use. Probably many people who are just starting out programming with Meteor don't even know they're using it. They just write some code according to the tutorial, and magically the page updates, like everything updates whenever you want it to. And I think it's a great API where you, sh <laughs> you basically shift all the responsibility of handling um, events and dependencies and stuff like that onto the people who develop packages rather than the users. Um, and so here's an example of a really simple way you might want to use Tracker, which is, uh, let's say we, you don't even have Blaze, you're not even inside Meteor. Um, one of the things I think it would be really cool is people using Tracker outside of Meteor is let's say you just have a package that tells you the current location using the browser's geolocation API. And then you just want to put that inside a DOM node using jQuery. Um, so lines one through five here are how you would do that with Tracker. Line seven through eight is how you do that with maybe a more standard API that JavaScript people are used to, which is like an event emitter. You basically just listen to certain events on an object and then you do something when that event happens. So the point I'm going to try to make today is that Tracker can actually be a decent replacement for uh, almost all of the other asynchronous methods of programming that people use for client-side JavaScript. So in this case, it's replacing an event emitter, and here it's actually pretty simple. But let's look at the second example, which is, let's say you want to depend on two data sources, not just the location, but let's say also on the username of the person who is currently logged in. So line one through seven is this example with Tracker, which is you just get the location, you get the username, and then you set the text. But when you want to do it with the more standard pattern, the event emitter, um, you end up with a lot more lines of code because you have to first manually render, render, uh, register a dependency on that data, and then you have to get that data separately, and then you have to render the text node. So basically, I think Tracker ends up with uh, being a pretty good replacement for event emitters if all you want to do is synchronize some data into a DOM node. Um, yeah, so like what I just said. Um, so the next crazy idea I had is what if Tracker wasn't just a replacement for event emitters, but it was also a replacement for promises? So I went and I built this kind of crazy, wacky package called Reactive Method. And Reactive Method is a thing that lets you call a Meteor method in a way that looks synchronous from the client. So inside your helper, you can just call a method using this package. But actually what's happening is, obviously it's an asynchronous call, and it runs twice. The first time it returns undefined because you have no return value. And the second time, the function reruns, and now you get the return value that came back from the server. So um, I think it's pretty interesting that uh, you can use this simple model of tracker of automatically having functions be able to rerun the enclosing computation to do things that cover a wide range of asynchronous things in the client, including event emitters, uh, promises, things like that. So uh, in the future, I'm also hoping to build something like reactive HTTP so that you can easily have like a REST API mapped onto your Blaze template without having to have like a ton of temporary variables and callbacks and things like that. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys can also build some cool things with Tracker and uh, we can get them out there. Thanks.